Okay, so first step we need to do is our first petal. And we need to roll this really thin. Okay, okay. So what we're aiming for is to be able to see right through it. Okay, so if I hold that up to the camera, I don't know if you can see how paper thin that is. And it is sort of getting slightly translucent. Sure if you can see my fingers through there. Okay. So that's that's thin enough. Okay. Okay, so you've got your mat. You're going to put your petal on your mat like that. You need to get your boiling tool. And then you're going to take your boiling tool and half on, half off your petal. You're going to run it right around the edge till it becomes nice and frilly. Like so this. I'm going to take my bud and my glue. Just open that up. Okay. And I'm only using a dead, dead little paintbrush. You don't need a lot of glue for this. Okay, so where the pointed edge is on the flower petal, I'm just going to paint down the centre and up the edges. Okay, now I'm going to stick that to the top of the bud. Okay, it is quite above, so it's probably about halfway up. This is really hard to show you, trust it in white. Okay, and I'm going to curl the top of that. Okay, so it should look something like that. So then we need to get get our bud and on the petal itself you only need a tiny tiny amount of glue, barely visible glue. So down the centre and down each edge. Here. So that should be enough glue. So you're going to take your first petal and you're going to lay it over where that first petal curled. Okay. And we're going to make sure it's the same height as our cone. Okay. And we're just going to gently curl that round the cone. Okay. So we're going to go on the direct opposite side, get your second petal and lay it exactly. So you can see it's all staying even and level. So what I need to do now is stick this side to the outside. This side is going to come underneath this one and then back out. So they sort of go in like a little a little S shape. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start our third row of petals. Now on this row of petals I am going to vein them because by the time you start getting to the third level of petals each petal starts to become a lot more visible and once that happens you're going to want to start putting the veining in and it really does 
really does make a difference and it absolutely brings your <clears throat> roses to life especially when we come to dust them later and dust goes into all the little crevices okay now I was just putting a bit of cornflour on that then because it's starting to stick a little bit Okay, then what I want to do is again thin the edge of those petals. Now if you do this before you put them in the veiner, all that will happen is that you'll force your petals to go flat again. Now I'm going to put all my petals this way up in the the point of the petal, so this bit here, is facing away from me. And that's just so I don't get confused which side of my petal I need to put my glue on. So I'm going to get a little bit of glue, and when I say a little bit of glue, I mean literally pick some glue up and then scrape it off. That's how much glue you need. I'm going to go down the centre and to the right of the flower, the petal even. Okay. So this has been left to dry for a little bit. So you can see the petals aren't going anywhere now if I touch them. So the first petal is going to go where your last one stopped. Okay, so between those two petals, I'm going to make sure it's all staying level at the top. And because I've only got glue on this side, this is the side that's going to stick down, and this side is going to stay open. Okay. So I need to make sure I fit in three petals on here. So they only need a little bit of overlap. Again, just make sure that this is all staying level. And then my last one is going to just tuck underneath that first one. That's at that point there, you just need to add a little tiny amount of glue. And you can go around all your petals and just glue them where you want them to be. Make sure it's all nicely secure. At this point, I've moved from this cutter to this cutter. Now, tiny amount of glue, again, exactly the same position. Okay, and you'll notice this time as well that I've got five petals instead of three because this flower is really going to start opening out now. Okay, now this one's had a little, little while to dry. You can see I could still move it slightly, but we'll go with it. Ideally, I'd like to have left that a bit longer. So, this point now 
you're going to start where you've got an overlap okay and you can see this is starting to fill up now so the glue is on this side so we're going to push that on now again we're still making this all nice and level we're not going anywhere with it okay so I'm just gonna very very gently stick that down Okay, so as you can see in front of me now, I've got um, seven of my biggest petals because this is going to be our last layer. Okay, now I need to do something slightly different with these petals. So, thin them. Now you see on the veiner it dips in here. I want to keep that. So what I need to do is vein my flower. So you can see it's sort of cupped the petal. So you're going to get a spoon. And you're going to leave that petal on there for, I'd say, at least, at least half an hour. So, my petals have been drying on their little spoons. Okay. So, again, they're firmed up. They're keeping their shape. But they're not hard. I can still manipulate them, which at this stage is what I want. So, this time with the glue, I'm going to put the glue on the left hand side and the right hand side, just a little bit at the bottom. I don't want any glue down that center edge because I want to be able to see right into this rose. These are the outer layers so you should really be able to see inside them. Okay so hold your rose like this, take your petal, turn it upside down and the end of your petal should now be reaching the wire. Okay and as you come to the top you can see that it's all still nice and level. Put that on there. So, but what I also want to do is I want to bend it in ever so slightly. Okay, so I can really, really see down that petal. So that should be enough. You see? So that is pretty much done. 